Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to create a key pair and then create a Terraform resource that utilizes this key pair. This will be used by the EC2 instance resource we create so that we can SSH into it later. So, let's get started. All right, I'm going to first highlight my main.tf here, and then I'm going to go ahead and create that key pair. So to do that, and yes, I am on Windows. Windows actually does have an SSH utility. So I'm going to run the same commands that I would run on OS X or Linux. SSH-keygen-t. And we will use a more secure key than the typical RSA we use. Let's use ED25519 and hit enter. Now we're going to rename this key pair here. I'm just going to copy this instead of retyping it. Basically everything before the ID ED25519. And I'm going to paste that in. And then we're just going to name this MTC key. Or at least I am. Name it whatever you want here. Just make sure you reference it properly throughout the rest of the course. And I'll hit enter. We're not going to bother with a passphrase. All right, perfect. Looks like everything is good to go. Just going to run an ls tilde slash dot ssh here. And that shows me that directory. And MTC key is there and MTC key dot pub, which is what we'll use for our key resource. So now let's take a look at the docs as we usually do. Resource AWS key pair. As you see, we basically need to specify a resource, AWS key pair, and then name that whatever we need to. We'll give it a name, and then we will provide the public key. Now we could just copy and paste the public key from our file, but that looks very, very messy. So what we're going to do is use a Terraform function. We're going to use the file function. So all we have to do is utilize file and then enter the path to our key. And what that will allow us to do is specify the key just like this, only much shorter by just passing in a path instead of the full public key. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll start with resource, AWS key pair, just like so. After that, I'm just going to call it MTC auth. Open and close those resource braces. Key name, I'm going to go ahead and call that MTC key, just to keep things simple. And then we need to pass in that public key. And to do that, we're going to utilize the file function. And we'll quote this, and I'll use that tilde, slash dot SSH, slash MTC key dot pub. And again, I'm on Windows, but these commands should all pretty much line up and be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to run a Terraform plan. Make sure everything looks good. I'll scroll up here a little bit. All right, perfect. So the key pair will be created. Looks like everything passed those initial checks. So I'll run a Terraform apply. Auto approve, just like so. All right, apply complete. So if I take a look over here in my AWS resources, we can see if this is one that is available for us. So I'll just type in key. Unfortunately, key pair does not appear to be one that we can see right here from this screen. So we'll just head back into the EC2 console. I'll click on key pairs. And there it is, MTC key, type ED25519. Everything looks great. All right, so that's all for this lesson. Go ahead and mark it complete. Come on back to the next and let's continue the course.